morning and welcome to Stitched at Weekender. I don't know what volume this is. I think it's probably three. Haven't done this for ages. Well, it feels like I've not done one of these vlogs for ages. I hope you're all really well. And I thought I would do another weekend vlog. So as you can see, I probably look a little bit different to when you last saw me. I've had my hair chopped finally. We are starting to open up a little bit more in the UK and this week non-essential shops, hairdressers, gyms are, have opened and pubs have opened but only for outside. I haven't been to a pub yet. I have no desire to go to one to be honest. Um, but hairdressers absolutely because my hair was desperate. So I've had it cut into a slightly graduated bob and um, I've had it coloured as well and I'm really happy with it. I think it looks fantastic. So yeah, I feel much more like me. It feels very modern and yeah, fresh and just what I needed to perk me up. So it is Saturday. I'm in the car. It is 20 past seven Saturday morning. I'm on my way to work. I'm just doing what we call extended access this morning, which is GP surgeries in the UK historically work Monday to Friday but obviously as we all know people get ill outside of office hours and so we do extended access on a weekend morning for those people that are working during the week and can't get to see their GPs in normal hours so that's what I'm doing this morning and then exciting stuff have you seen Friday Pattern Company's new pattern that they released yesterday. It is called the Davenport dress. I will insert a picture. I absolutely love this dress. I think it's gorgeous and it's not often that I am completely enamoured with a new pattern release. I'm a bit more of a slow burn. The last time I think that I fell for a new pattern release as soon as it was released I think was the Chirocco by Deer and Doe. And here we are again, yep, the Davenport, I love it. So I think it's just got, you know, a few nice little details to it. And I have bought the pattern last night. The plan is I'm gonna make that this afternoon. I'm actually in the middle of a pattern already. I'm in the middle of making, making the Roseanne top by Fibre Mood. I started on that last weekend, but I didn't get very far. I didn't get any sewing done last weekend at all, really. Just a really busy, busy, busy weekend. So I do need to get that finished. And I haven't got the Davenport printed off yet because I bought it quite late last night. So I need to get that printed off today and at least cut out and maybe started on, hopefully. We'll see, because obviously I'm working this morning and then I've only got the afternoon. But I am going to be spending the afternoon sewing. So what's happening in our lives at the minute? We are having a new patio built at the minute. So yeah, it's a big job and it's been ongoing for the last two weeks. And I think we've probably got at least another week before it will be completed. So we have a semi-detached house that is on a bit of a, well, it's not a corner plot as such, I suppose it is. It's in a real, because where we live, it used to be sort of like old farmland and all these houses were built really higgledy-piggledy on the farmland and ours is one of them. And it's sort of on a corner, but it's not on a corner of a road. But we've got a corner plot sort of in between some houses, if that makes sense, it's really weird. But anyway, we um, well, the, the previous occupants to us had a big extension built, two-storey extension on the side, but still got a fair bit of corner and you come through the gate and then there's like a path that goes all the way around the house under a pergola that Martin built a few years ago now. It's covered in beautiful climbing roses and wisteria and whatnot. And then comes round to a patio at the back and it was, the previous occupants built that, but it was always a bit of an afterthought, I think. And it was never a very nice patio and the slabs have crumbled over time, broken, one came loose, etc. And it's been like that for a couple of years, but obviously we wanted to get our kitchen redone last year, which was the priority. And obviously the floods and COVID made the kitchen renovations a bit more prolonged than we originally planned for. So the plan was 
this year to get the patio redone and we're having it done and um, as I say they started on it a couple of weeks ago it's looking it's starting to look really good we've had it extended out a little bit further to make it a bit bigger and they're just at the point now where they've built a wall or like a dwarf wall around it as well we're gonna have lights in there and they're just at the point where they're putting um, the slabs down the new slabs at the back and they're looking really pretty they're all different colors there's some pinks in there some blue some buff colors all different sizes it's Indian stone that we're having and it's just looking really pretty so that's really exciting I'm really looking forward to it hopefully it'll be done soon so we can use that space in the summer months when the weather is a little bit warmer so yeah that's really good so Piper is doing amazingly well he is coming up to 16 weeks now I think so he's nearly four months old and he's doing great still not fully house trained we're getting there bit by bit he knows what he needs to do he just gets a little bit yeah leaves it till the last minute shall we say I'm really glad that I've got wooden floors downstairs put it that way but he's doing really really well um, enjoying his walks getting him out walking obviously because he's so young he can't walk far at the minute because you're supposed to only do five minutes per month of age so we're trying to stick to that he's growing um, and he doesn't chew much really occasionally he gets a bit overboard with things but generally he he knows which are his toys and which he can which things he can play with and which things he can't play with put it that way and he's, he's, he's doing really, really well he's sticking to that so hopefully over the weekend you'll get to see him and see how he's grown from when you last saw him and uh, Martin's at work later today I've got Isaac at home still we've just we've just put a deposit down for his uni accommodation because he goes off to uni in September he's going to Manchester and I'm really starting to worry about it just because obviously Bronte left home four years ago she's in Leicester and he's my baby and he's the last one to fly the nest and it's just going to be the two of us which is going to be odd and that's going to take a bit of getting used to so yeah I'm sure many of you have experienced that and I'll be honest I know that it's the right thing for him to do um, I'm a bit worried about him because he's not he doesn't go out much at all. He is a gamer and spends the majority of the time at home gaming. And he doesn't socialise a lot outside the home. So lockdown, to be perfectly honest, has not made much of an impact on him at all. So I'm a little bit worried about how he's going to adjust to living away from home when he's not very streetwise and he's not lived in a city before. So that's going to be a big change for him we'll see hopefully hopefully he'll adjust and it will be the making of him so we'll see how we get on with that but yeah I've just had to put the deposit down on the accommodation for him for uni um, he's going to do photography that's what he wants to do and um, yeah we'll see how we get on so right I'm heading off to work I'm going to sign off for now because I've already spoke to you for about nine minutes already and I don't want this vlog to be going on forever because we're going to be sewing the next thing you're going to see is a bit of sewing so um, I'll catch up with you soon right I'm back from work and um, it's a beautiful day the sun is shining it's just gorgeous I've just been eating my lunch so just had some cheese on toast yum yum so I thought I would just quickly show you how the patio is coming on outside because it does look different from how it was last time and then I'm going to show you the fabric that I have chosen, that's Piper, um, to make the Davenport dress. And I've just printed out the pattern, so I've got that to stick together. But yeah, thought I would show you the patio. So come with me. There's Piper. So yeah, it looks, it's looking a little bit different. So I'll just take you around here. This is obviously the side of the extension of our house. And this was all flagged using these old concrete slabs, which weren't very nice, but it's what was here when we bought the house. And we've had it all taken up here 
and this is all going to be um, patioed and then it's going to go all the way around here um, and then this is going to be sort of curved and then we've got this like dwarf wall that's been built all this is going to be flagged they've just started doing the upper end of it they did that yesterday and then we've got this wall that's gone in with like pillars there's a pillar there pillar there pillar there and there there's going to be a step down onto the lawn and all this is going to be patio in indian stone which is what this is so this is drying now it should be okay to walk on and uh, i'm really pleased with how it's looking it's just going to be so nice we're going to get a um sofa that's going to go in the corner there and a barbecue and a fire pit and it's just going to be gorgeous i'm going to have some lights in the pillars as well to shine onto the patio and also shine onto the garden so um, that's why it's not been finished off at the top of the wall yet because we need the electrician to come and sort that out and we are considering having some lights put in the wall of the conservatory as well that can shine onto the patio obviously need a step going up into the house because that's been removed um, but I'm loving it I'm thinking it's going to be really nice so at the minute the house is just messy because this is all limestone and every time you walk into the house you just end up with footprints of dust everywhere so you can imagine the state of the house and my poor garden um obviously now we've sort of more or less got it blocked off because that's the rest of our garden there and through the gate at the bottom and we've got this like little corner thing here so i think what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to put another tree or something in here i think quick battery change there um yeah so i think we're gonna have this as like a separate garden area as well which is obviously what it was before but the garden bit is totally trashed now this is i mean this is all their equipment what they're using at the minute and you can see that was grass it's not now so we are going to have to re-turf all this i think at some point but yeah i think i'm going to put a big shrub or something in there that will just block that off totally because they've just thrown mud there which is fine because it all needs sorting anyway so but it's going to be really pretty i think it's going to be look really nice nice little outdoor space the old patio came to about here and we've had it taken out a little bit more because i just wanted it a little bit deeper and um, this here if you're intrigued as to what this is this is actually a drain um, we live in an old sort of farm cottage and um, the old buildings to the farm are just over there they've all been converted now into barn conversion well barn conversions yes they've been converted um, that's the old farmhouse that's white just over there and yeah these are all old farm cottages and the sewers just go underneath everybody's gardens and we had to have a manhole put in but what they've done is it's just going to be so good because the manhole cover that was in was just horrid and it was right in the middle of the patio so it can't be moved but what they've done is they've they've, they've told me about these contraptions which you can get now which means this lifts out so they can still get access into the manhole cover but what they're going to do is they are going to put the patio slabs in it so it will blend in and yeah that'll look really cool so it makes you know the best we can do really with that um but yeah it's coming on really nicely so i love these slabs i just think they're they're great and um obviously they all need pointing up yet but um it's going to be really nice i can't wait to get this finished so we can use it and yeah really excited you come and say hello come say hello come on then hello <laughs> so here he is he's growing he's getting really big and he's beautiful absolutely beautiful we love having another by Marana. piper no don't eat my plants it's a good boy so that's the patio right now for some sewing but i might go get changed first because i'm still in my work gear i'm not wearing anything me made today but um, fabric wise for the Davenport dress, I have chosen this, which is a gorgeous pink and red floral linen viscose. I'm hoping it's gonna work because it does say, it says you can use viscose and you can use um, cotton lawns, lightweight to medium weight woven fabrics. So I'm gonna attempt it with this and um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So I need to get that pattern 
stuck together now and decide what size I'm going to make. And uh, yeah, afternoon of sewing, which is really exciting. Right, I haven't filmed sticking a PDF together because I'm sure you all have seen that before, but here it is, all 37, 38 pages of it. And I've just been looking at the instructions so this is a line drawing of the dress here i really really love this dress and if you've watched the sewing bee those of you that are in the uk you'll know this week they did sort of well the, the showstopper dress was a, a dress very well it was dressed as very similar to this sort of loose fitting but without a waist seam so anyway moving swiftly on i've just been looking at the size chart to make a decision on what i'm going to which size I'm going to choose. I fall into the small for the bust, medium waist and large hip. But looking at the finished measurements, there is actually a lot of ease in this. There's almost sort of nine inches of ease in the chest. There is another, gosh, 16 inches of ease in the waist. And the hip is, I've scribbled that out, but it's 53, 52. So that's another 11 inches of ease in the hip. So I'm just going to go with a small at the bust because I am really small around my shoulders and go with a medium for the rest of it. And I'm going to get that cut out and then we'll get the fabric, which is just over there in the kitchen. Um, that needs pressing and then hopefully I can get this cut out. I am going to need to make some adjustments. I think I am probably going to lengthen the bodice pieces by an inch. This dress actually hits, I mean, this print, my printer needs new um cartridges as you can see because it's not printed out very well but it does hit above the knee i'm going to go for above the knee on this one actually and i think it i'm not sure if it actually tells you what height it's drafted for oh oh no that's seam allowance seam allowance is a centimeter but it doesn't say anything about height oh here we go height five foot six so if i add an inch onto the waist which is five, that'll make it to five foot seven. And then I'm five foot 10, so three inches on to the skirt pieces. So I don't, I think I'll probably spread that. I'll add two inches onto the skirt and another inch onto the ruffle, cause that should keep the proportions right. We'll see how we get on. I have scraps left. So I've used three meters of fabric to cut this pattern out. There's quite a lot of pieces as you can see because obviously it's got pockets, ruffles, yokes, etc, etc. This is the ruffle on the bottom. As If you recall I said I wanted to lengthen this by an inch but I didn't have enough fabric to be able to do that. In fact I've had to make the ruffle shorter so we'll see how we get on with that but um, I had to make do with what I had. I had to do some really strategic pattern piecing to get everything out of this pattern because I think it's a directional print as well so I have managed it which is fine nearly had a major cock up with one of the bodice pieces it's this one here the back bodice piece which because I had it upside down on the fabric I ended up cutting this edge on the fold and actually when I turned it round it should have been that edge on the fold so I've managed to just eke it out of that pattern piece but there's a little bit of a gap just there I'm hoping because there's enough ease in this dress that it'll be fine so anyway that's all cut out however I want to finish the Rosanne top first so I cut this out last weekend I've made some white shorts that I think this will look so pretty with so this is the pattern here again it's another sort of fluttery sleeved peasant blouse and as I say I think with some white shorts that's just gonna look really nice with just with a little cami underneath because this is quite sheer it's like a spot Georgette fabric it's quite stiff at the minute because I've spray starched this so that it's easy to handle but this will really um, be quite fluid and drapey when it's been washed so I'm gonna get this finished first because I've hardly got anything done with this I think all I did was last weekend I think all I did was literally, I've got as far as the facing look, I need to pin, I've pinned the facing, I need to sew that, but I have the front and back bodice stitched together, French seamed at the shoulders. That's it, that's as far as I got. So I wanna get on with this first, get this finished. Then we will make a start on the Davenport. So I've got the top finished, 
Um, yeah, got the Roseanne top finished and I've just watched the funeral of um, Prince Philip, which was actually really moving. It was so sad to see the Queen on her own. Um, but anyway, I've come out now to take Piper for a walk and I thought I'd bring you with us. So it's a really, really lovely afternoon and literally just around the corner from my house. Um, so I'm going to turn you around. I'll show you the view. There's like a little lake just there and uh, it's really pretty. So yeah, I'm going to turn you around. Quite often we see deer. I come running through here a lot and there's always deer in these sort of um, this area here. That noise you can hear is the motorway in the background. But um, yeah, I'll turn you around and then you can see Piper. and I've got changed I've put on the Rosanne top so here she is just excuse the fact that I'm wearing this with just a simple bra underneath but it's got these really nice arms it's all really nice flutter sleeves it's all totally French seamed inside this wasn't an easy make and the main reason for that was because it's Georgette and it's not easy to sew and I think with all the ruffles on this and the um the buttons and button band that actually went in quite well it's okay it's not perfect i think if i make this again and i probably will make it again but i think i'll do it out of a, a much sort of more stable fabric but um yeah it's it's all right and to wear it with i would not wear it like this with a bra underneath well obviously i would have a bra on but i would wear it with a black cami that's the idea and i'll just wear it with a pair of um shorts i think that will look quite nice but um it's got like this sort of front gathered in um goings on up to here and i've not quite got it right but um this fabric was really really cheap and it was mainly to twirl it so i do think the pattern pieces are not easy to sort of figure out what's what because they've got like two lines on them and you don't actually know which line is which so that was a bit strange but it's okay i'm glad i've got it sewn up anyway and um yeah i'll wear it with a cami underneath and a pair of shorts i think that'll be quite nice just for a little bit of cover up in um in the summer right so i'm gonna get started on the davenport dress which is exciting so um where is the instructions I don't think I'm going to get this finished today because it is already six o'clock, ten past six. Martin's working a late shift, so it's going to be a few hours yet before he gets home. But I might get at least the bodice part done, hopefully. We can try, can't we? Right, the Davenport is coming on quite nicely. There is a lot going on in this dress. You've got a little elasticated front bodice, you've got little flutter sleeves, you've got raglan yokes on the front, and then if we flip it over to the back, we've got um, a yoke on the back as well. I've pressed up the sleeves, these need stitching now, and then elastic goes in a casing. And then we're onto the skirt, which I'm going to stop now because I need to make me and Isaac some tea. It's half past seven. I'm starving. 
It's Sunday morning and I am still in my dressing gown but I wanted to show you the finished dress because I've been up at six o'clock this morning and I'm supposed to be running right now doing a long run but I was itching to get this finished. I'm really sorry about the light in here but um, I think it's probably about half past eight something like that probably not even that but I've got it finished and I love this dress it's awesome so um yeah it's all hemmed with a little ruffle on i think that ruffle goes okay i'm a little worried about the length of this but i'm sure it'll be fine with some uh, fake tan on my legs just need to finish off these little drawstrings because the edges are still raw so i'm gonna have to tuck those in and probably put a couple of little stitches in and then that will be finished but otherwise i am delighted with this dress this fabric is beautiful it's linen viscose and i'm thinking that i got it from so me sunshine i think but i'm not 100 percent sure i'll have a look on their website and see if they've still got it but it's beautiful i think it's going to be great for this dress i haven't even tried this on yet so fingers crossed it fits but uh we shall see right so i'm wearing the dress we are going food shopping which isn't exciting do you want to say hello Hello, <laughs> yes, food shopping. Yeah, it's really exciting. And I think we're going to look for a barbecue and a fire pit as well for the patio. So um, I will take some better pictures of the dress later. Just been for um, an eight and a half mile run, which was lovely. I'd only planned to do five, but the weather's so nice. It's a little bit cool still, but it's sunny and still, so it's perfect running conditions. So I went a little bit further than I planned. But now, now I'm about to start the car, which I was waiting for because I didn't want it to make a noise. But now it's going to. There you it's go. such an exciting vlog. We've brought the dog for a walk. My brother's just been, which was lovely. And um, we've both had a, a glass of uh, raspberry cider, which was quite nice. So we, oh, oh that was. Hello, <laughs> we've just been dogged yes. by the dog. We've just Sorry. Brought, we've, we've brought Piper out for a walk, so I just thought I'd show you a little bit of really where we live because it's so pretty. So I'm just going to turn the camera around. So Piper is currently just having a little bit of a mad moment, but there's this beautiful little pond that is five minutes walk from our house, which is just really pretty. So we've just come here so that Martin can take some pictures of my lovely dress. There's Piper. Piper, you gonna say hello? <laughs> Good morning. So it's now Saturday again and we've skipped forward about five days and I have done what I've done repeatedly over the last few months, which is film a weekend of vlog and not finish it off, not edit it, not upload it. And this time I'm determined to do that because I know how much you enjoy these vlogs anyway. I didn't finish off last week's weekend vlog. That's Piper just wants to come and say hello. Say hello, Piper. You gonna say hello? You gonna say hello? <laughs> anyway, um, I thought I would film a little bit this weekend because this weekend is quite exciting. We have the patio almost finished, which I'm not gonna show you right now. You're gonna have to wait. Um, it is almost finished though and I'm really pleased with how it's looking. It's just made such a massive difference to our home. But we are about to head off to see Bronte. Bronte has moved into a new flat on her own. And um, Martin went down a couple of weeks ago to help her move when we first started work on the patio. And I've not seen it yet and I've not seen her since she was up here for Isaac's birthday in early March. So we're going down to see her today to Leicester about half past eight in the morning and um, yeah I thought I would take you along with me and film this weekend and put both weekends together into one vlog for you so yeah hope you've all had a good week and we'll see you in Leicester. So we're in Leicester and uh, hello <laughs> somebody who you've not seen for, for a while with a very bright orange jacket I know on. but it's so <laughs> lovely and it suits my complexion. <laughs> so we're just um we're going to a place called Brad Cape Bradgate Park, surely, where we're going to have lunch, aren't we? We've got yes. a, a uh, an afternoon tea for three. Not for two, but for three. Well, for four, technically, because one of us oh, is for it? two. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, but before that, we've just come looking for a fire pit for our patio. So, Bronte 
is under the impression that they have some here. So uh, we're going to look for a fire pit. And Dad's here also. Masks at the ready. And uh, then we shall go to the deer park and have lunch. Yes. Hello. <laughs> We've just had an interesting experience paying for parking. Don't do technology. <laughs> so we're here at Bradgate Park and Bront is already on the g and So we're lunchtime. We've got our supplies and we're going to have a little walk and find somewhere to sit and eat lunch, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me Something brand new You said this is something You would never do Here we are in your car Let me see who you are Who you really are Enjoying our day. It's lovely. It's nice. We've got there. a we've got a little afternoon tea got from little. Morrison's. Can we say a little? <laughs> Haven't we? No infringing any trademarks. <laughs> it's really lovely here. Really lovely. I had raspberry infused gin with Sicilian lemon tonic. How nice. <laughs> what have you got, Martin? Food. <laughs> Is it cherry bakewell? I think bakewell slice. I think it is, yeah. You look like you're really enjoying that. I'm suffering. <laughs> For the cause. But I'll I'll soldier on, I'll manage. The way you feel when I hold you, I think I said enough. morning and you're seeing me at my finest it's monday morning i didn't film anything yesterday but i did make the so have seven burnside bibs which i will show you in a little while and it was oh, it was so good to make those again i have made them before and i don't know where they are i made a black pair about four years ago so dug out the pattern the other night i got some beautiful blue linen petrol blue linen which is this stuff here from Minerva it's mine the maker and it was not not cheap at all but it was it's really lovely and it's worked really well for the bibs so they're made they're a really straightforward sew and 
I have dug out the Tilly and the Buttons Seren dress pattern, this one here, because I've made this dress twice now and I want to make it again, but I need to retrace the pattern. I've just dug out the pattern pieces and I made the size five, which is for body measurement of a 38 inch bust and mine is now 35. So I need to go down to a, between a three and a four looking at that. So I do remember when I made this last year or the year before actually, that it was a little bit too big around the bust anyway. So, um, and I'd also added on too much depth to the waist. So I think I added on an inch and it actually makes it far too low. So I am going to take that out, I think, and just do the bodice as it is supposed to be. So I'm going to get that retraced now. I haven't chosen fabric yet. I haven't decided what I want to use. I've got lots of choices, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, I haven't got dressed yet. It's early morning and um, I wanted to show you the patio. Working from home again the majority of this week, which is lovely. And um, yeah, I just need to look at the finished measurements of this pattern. Let's have a little look and see. Yeah, the size three finished measurement is 35 and a half and the four is 37 and a half. So I need to grade between them really because the three is gonna be probably a bit too tight. Half an inch of ease around your bust isn't much, is it? Um, but the 37 and a half is probably going to give me too much so I'm going to grade between them I think um, but anyway let me show you the patio okay so as we come through the gate now all this area has been done and um, we walk round we've got so much work to do this side of the garden now because the grass is just ruined from all the cement and everything else that they were obviously using this space to prepare everything and um, it's been raised up a little bit as the as the path so we are going to have to put some more groundworks here to raise the lawn a little bit but we'll deal with that later um yeah so the path comes all the way around and um, we've put some trellising up here and I've got a new plant there, which is a plant that my mum had um, in her garden and she absolutely adored the flowers on it. It's a clematis and it's called Nelly Moser and it's just had these massive big pink and white flowers. They're beautiful and she loved it so much and I found the same plant last week. So I've bought it as to remind me of my mum. And yeah, so we come round onto the new patio, which is here and it's looking amazing. So these coping stones are not fitted yet because we're having lights put into the walls and the electrician is coming some point this week to do that. So until he's been and fixed all the lights in place, obviously we can't have these fitted. So they look a bit wonky at the minute, but they're cut to size. And um, yeah, it's, um, it's looking really good. So, Obviously only half of the patio has been pointed. This hasn't been pointed yet because he ran out of the pointing solution stuff. And he's got to come back anyway because once we've had the lights done in the pillars, then he will come back to fix the coping stones on the top and repoint this and do the remainder of the gravel because there's some gravel all the way around the edge, but we've sort of run out of space just there. Oh, he's run out of gravel to do that little bit. Then we need to repaint um, repaint these, the door to our outside office. We need a new window in there as well because that's rotten. Um, and we've got step down onto the lawn. Again, this isn't fixed yet because of the wiring that he needs to lift those to put the wiring underneath. Um, and we've dug out the jasmine. We had a jasmine in place here that was on an archway, but the archway collapsed along with the jasmine and the jasmine has rerouted itself, but it was just taking up too much of the garden space. So yeah, that's all got to be dug out now. We chopped all that down yesterday, but it's all going to be dug out and this is going to have to be re-turfed. So um, yeah, still lots to do, but I'm really pleased with how it's coming on. Um, I've ordered a fire pit, which is going to be a few weeks before that comes. Love my new patio furniture. It's just lovely to relax on. Um, Piper loves it as well because it's covered in Piper prints, but hey ho, he's just there. 
Look at him, because I've left him in the house. So he's going to want to come out now. Morning. Here we go. Off he goes, exploring. Hello. Hello. He's saying hello to everybody. Yes. He's a good boy, aren't you? Really good boy. Yeah. So, garden. So, I think I'm going to insert some pictures of my Burnside bibs at the end of this vlog and I am now going to get the serin dress retraced and then go get myself ready for work and then I'm going to sign off here. So you're not going to see the serin because I'm not even going to start that today probably because I'm going to have a really busy day at work today but I hope you've enjoyed my latest vlog and I will be back with you really soon. <laughs> Take care, bye. <music>